Hello everyone, my name is Relax and Panic, and this is another reaction for Madoka Magica Rebellion. It is the finale, the last part of the movie, and uh, well, I hope you will enjoy it. So if you want to see it, just go down into my descriptions, you will find a link and uh, follow it, and you can see the reaction itself. Once you've done, feel free to come back here and hear me out about what I thought about this part. So see you soon. For those of you who came back, welcome back. To the finale, to utter chaos and surprise, uh, which I liked quite a lot. So, um, yes, I would really, really love to talk about the major thing first, but um, if I do that now, I will definitely not go through the other stuff. So I will go through it bit by bit from the beginning on. So um, it started off with uh, the witch, Mura. Um, and it seemed that Kyoko, well, not, it doesn't seem, Kyoko was aware what happened and uh, I think um, the others were as well, they were informed by Bibi about the background, about stuff that is happening, about the incubators and everything. Um, what struck me about the witch, uh, about Humura the witch, was the fact that she is constantly crying, you know, she is really in despair there. Um, you can see that it is it is a saddening thing to see so she is cuff, handcuffed she's crying all the time and uh, while her um, like tail you know the uh, the part of her clothing in her back is destroying the city so it is <clears throat> you can see this twisted emotions inside her so that felt quite sad um, and uh, the girls were ready to fight her and then Yubei tries to, well, lure them, to talk them out of it, to not do it because she's your friend and stuff like that. Um, but they already got the information from Bebe <clears throat> about the background, about the, con the incubator and everything. So they denied him and went for the fight. <clears throat> what surprised me a bit there was that Sayaka killed herself and turned into a witch. Um, which is pretty clever because she has kind of equal powers or at least increases her power level, but she's somehow able to control it. Um, maybe because it is this um, mystery world, the witch's dream, don't know. Um, but as a matter of fact, it seems that uh, Bibi and Sayaka, as they stated, are the memory keepers of Madoka. So they they keep the memories um, of her that she lost. I'm not completely sure there. It seemed quite a uh, time as though they were the memory keepers of Homura. But um, seeing them later on with Madoka, I'm pretty sure they are the secretaries of Madoka, as they called themselves. Um, so they are helping her with her job. Say so. Um, there was... Yeah, well, it was nice fight. It was very, very nicely done and choreographed. It looked really cool. Um, you could hear the despair from Humura that she was afraid that they would break this shell where they're inside and she as witch would um, go on against the world. <clears throat> that they possibly, you know, would endanger uh, Madoka. Um, there was one major sentence, in my opinion. Um, Stop trying to take all burdens on yourself. Um... Yeah, because that is the thing that she did. Uh, she learned while traveling through time that whenever she tried to fight against um, the witches with the help of the other girls, they would always die. They would never succeed. So she, in the end, took it all on herself. She did all on her own, all um, without help. And <clears throat> she kind of got stuck in that, that she seems to be able to only do things alone. Well, she cannot take others with her when she's traveling through time, so she it made some sense. Um, however, that was a major thing to me. Um, there was another very cheesy one, <clears throat> the fact that Sayaka came back to this world for Kyoko. So, I like that. That was nice. Okay, baby ruined the mood, but it was nice nonetheless. So I had my cheesy moment. I'm fine. I'm, I'm really fine with that. Um, <clears throat> then, uh, well, they broke out of the shell, out of this um, trap, and uh, Madoka came to rescue Humura in the end. So uh, that was very, very, very nicely done and was 
a lot of the uh, how to say um there was a lot of symbolism in a lot of um angel like you know when she looked like she was an angel there was a carriage being drawn by um by an elephant where uh, Humur and Bobe were riding on on a street made out of flowers so very shy positive childish um, good mood really nice thing you know which is very fitting because it is Madoka who's who was very child while she did it while she turned into this kind of god um, or higher being not sure how to say it um, <clears throat> so that was very fitting and um, Humur stated something there which I think was kind of like um, like a teaser already like a warning to what was to happen then it is this one sentence um, she said that all that what happened the trap you know the witch's labyrinth was only possible or at least more possible because she was selfish um, she wanted to see Madoka just one more time and yes due to this she could you know that was her option to do it in this dream. She uh, created a world where Modoka was around. And that is true. Um, and it was her world. Yes, the uh, incubators trapped her in this world. Um, possibly not asking her. Possibly. But the world that was created, this um, illusion, was made by her. No question there. And uh, there was a moment when she turned into the, to a witch to, um, well, to kind of end it, you know, to put the, to put an end to it. So there, she's in the end. She was fighting against herself. I can say so. However, there was a little warning. I did it all to see you one more time. And when Madoka appeared in person to rescue her, you know, um, they kind of destroyed the incubators in this moment. Uh, at least some of them, some hundred millions possibly. Um, and they still didn't get it what was going on there was this moment when um Humura completely changed into this evil version of herself with this the strange smirk this hi it's not easy to do it if you if you are you are not evil however um so and uh, she caught madoka and um, as madoka said you're ripping me apart that was a major thing here so she did not take the whole um, law of the cycle apart. She did not take all of it. She ripped a part out of this, um, how to say it, of this higher being that Madoka had transformed into. And the part that she ripped out of it was Madoka herself. The, uh, the concept of Madoka, the girl that she was. Not the higher power. As far as I understand, the law of the cycle is still existing. But it is about um, uh, that she wanted to have Madoka. And in my opinion, this is a major thing. She wanted to have Madoka for herself. Um, I will get back to that. So, she um, turned into another principle of the universe, as Madoka did with the law of the cycle. Um, I'm not sure if there's <clears throat> like like a word for it. Uh, she said, I have become that what is called evil. So, well, we discussed always at, um, about if the incubators are evil or not. Well, here's someone who states, I am evil. I'm the evil. Um, Kyubei, in, it's very interesting to me that Kyubei, that the incubators are aware of this change and they seem to be even aware once it has happened so they uh, they cannot uh, deny it they cannot undo it but they seem to be aware ve of very very many things so we do not have really much background on them but they are definitely well involved in a lot of important and higher level stuff um and even Kyubei in this moment when she turned uh, stated okay if this is what's happening with humans when we play with them because that's what they're doing um, when we use them for our benefits, we cannot control it. So there was the one thing Madoka, but he doesn't remember. Um, but he sees Humura change and he's aware that he cannot control how she changed, what she's doing and everything. And he's aware, okay, this is too dangerous um, because that might be happening anything. 
um, we will not use humans anymore. And that's the moment when it completely turns because then Homura says, I don't give a crap about your opinion because now I need you for my bidding and you will do as I say. So right now he is a servant of Homura, he slash his whole species possibly, because she's aware of what he's capable of and he's, she's using him. Um, she called herself a demon um, and there's there was a lot of this change of her soul gem um, which was partially you know was completely different um, she stated that she um, through traveling to time and having such so much of loss and uh, pain all the time that even in pain she found love and yes that is a wicked thing to say but um, it is very fitting for a demon it is um, she in her opinion what she does is out of love she wants to have Madoka all around all the time and especially all for herself I think um, so she does everything in her power to ensure this is happening again and again and if you go backwards into the series and you see it from this point of view yes she made a promise to Madoka and maybe that was the start of doing it but if you see it from she just wants to see her again and again and again. That is a reason for traveling through time as well. So she went for the time when uh, she met her again and again endlessly. And when Madoka um, changed the game by um, creating the law of the cycle, she made herself unavailable for Humura. So Humura was not with Madoka anymore. And she forced, um, Madoka forced a sacrifice on Homura again. The fact that whatever she did before, everything she did to see Madoka, um, yes, it was done for the good and everything went better and the world is good now. Yay, cheesy, happy Daniel here. Hey, hey great, relax and panic. All is fine. Um, but nope, it was changed um, because now she was alone again. Homura was alone again. So I can see this is happening and she's thinking and working on a world where um, she has Madoka again and that's what she created now. She ripped her out of the higher being and put her back into the world. In this case a world uh, which very like as it, it seems to me is one of those witches dreams again you know it is um, I'm not sure if it is a real world not completely clear here. Um, <clears throat> If it goes with what the incubators say, it is a real world, but we have the um, witch-like looking things in it, so I'm not sure. However, we now have two sides. We have um, the uh, law of the cycle, which is still somehow running, I think. We have um, the evil side, the demon, the one demon, and Madoka and the others are in the middle. Madoka is somehow aware of stuff happening and that is a, the interesting thing you can see still in Humura this change running back and forth um, that when Madoka is remembering um, she for a moment panics uh, Humura panics and grabs her and tries to kind of force her back in um, and that is the thing here it is not it is a sick kind of love it is not about um, giving the person the freedom. She is loving kind of an image she has of Madoka, in my opinion. The way that Madoka was when they met. The nice girl, you know. Um, and she is trying to keep that version. And within her bounds, within the, th uh, the bounds of the reality that Humura is creating, Madoka can possibly do a lot what she wants but not all she's not allowed to turn into this higher being again she's not allowed to leave Homura and that's the thing so it's not it's a love that is restricted it is not in um, a love where you allow the one that you love to do what he or she wants and many people would say that is not really love you know it is um if you love someone, you, uh, as I say, you have to have him uh, to let him go if you love him, uh, if this person wants to. 
I don't know. I think it is Olaf. Um, that's why she stated. But it is a, a dark and sick kind of, you know. But she needs it. She can't deny it. So uh, and, I mean, we can argue about what we want. Um, the the way that Hermura is now, she made a, um, a point. She made a decision, and I think it is nearly impossible to turn her back now. She created herself out of her emotions um, into such a high form of um, of creature like Madoka did um, that it is very very unlikely anyone can turn her back um, so I'm not sure if she has fallen maybe she was needed um, one could I mean I, I chose this picture here wrong side this picture here out of uh, a reason for sure um, so there we have the repeating all the time, which is the major thing. We have Madoka and Humura in, um, but we have two parts. That's the thing. We had something like ultimate god in the meaning of ultimate good with Madoka, someone who is pure and um, doing things for the good. And now we have a balance. We have someone who is naming herself the evil. Um, not acting so evil yet but she says maybe in the future we will have to fight um i uh in many ways she is stasis Hamura is the one that uh, denies development that um wants to have a stasis of things she loved that things don't change um for many people Mainly for Madoka, but for the others as well, I guess. I'm not sure if Madoka is so different in the meaning of that she's improving um, development uh, and change. We haven't seen that. But, well, we have two sides now, and I think that is an an important thing. Uh, we had the last scene with um, Yubei, with uh, the incubator. Um, very much roughed up and lying on the floor. Um, and then we zoomed into his eyes. So, I'm not sure about that one. I have no clue what they want to tell me with that. Um, however, so movie in general. That was awesome. There's no denying. Um, that was really, really great. Oh, I liked that. Um, a lot like in the series, we, we had a lot of build-up. And they, what I like here in the movie is this... Um, double change again so they do a twist in the ending um we have the setup realizing something is wrong finding out what it is one second <coughs> sorry um finding out what it is in the meaning it is a dream of a witch and then um the fact that uh humor accepts her fate and changes into the witch to save everyone so this could be already the ending of a movie that's why i stopped there last time this would be more either like the typical not not sure about typical but let's call it a typical movie plot or a serious plot you know you can kind of although i didn't see the witch coming um you can kind of see series and movies very often the development to a specific ending railroading as it is called and and it's like oh yeah it's okay you know if you just want to have a nice time and want to sit and enjoy that is fine in the ma most cases it is a positive ending a cheesy ending like you know something is off in the beginning the little boy grows to be a hero uh runs through the kingdom gets the important magical item and in the end slays the demon Everyone is fine, he's the king in the future, yay, end of series, end of movie, thanks, goodbye, and out. That's a typical one, railroad. Then you have a twist. This is less happening, but it is happening. And here we have the twist of the girls coming to a rescue. The one that I hope for. So, nice. And she's the ending, sure, no question. So, that you can still see. It was very nicely done. And then, and this is what, in my opinion, this... um. They, they do so great here. They give in a second twist. You know, like when you think, okay, because I know the series, I waited for a twist. And here it is, and it is cool. 
and then you get surprised by didn't see that coming. And I love to say didn't see that coming because that is what makes it fun. Um, if I just want to see uh, uh, the things I'm kind of waiting for, then I take a book I have already re read and read it again because I know what is going to happen. Or I rewatch a movie which I already know. I know what's going to happen. I have a nice time watching the movie. Here we have a second twist in the ending, and that is a change of Femura into the uh, demon form, which was completely out of nowhere for me. <laughs> I didn't see it coming, but as you see in my discussion, I can understand where it comes from. It makes sense. It is not like they, you know, um, just make something up. It has a foundation, and that is a great thing. And if you... Um, you can even watch the series again now, not only the movie, you can even watch the series again now and um, by knowing that this is happening ultimately in the end. Her decisions and what she made in the series now make another interesting um, reasoning, not sure. You know, if you've just seen the series and you rewatch it, you're like, oh yeah, time travel because of the wish. And we know what she has done. She's the ultimate hero. You know everything. Now you watch the Rebellion movie. And you rewatch the series. You're like. Holy heck. It's all leading to that. That is so nice. And yes. I remember one of you. And you know who you are. Taking out statements of mine. And posting it. And saying you will. Think of those again. You know. She is the, the hero. She sacrificed herself and everything. Yes. 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 Very nice. I like that one. So that's what it makes special for me. That's a really, really good movie. Um, especially in combination with the series. Sure. And uh, well, I don't know if they could do another m movie after this. Or even go for another um, volume. Because where should they go? I mean, it is like a complete new world now. Um, and we have had figures in it, in the meaning of Madoka and Humura, with, where we know they have specific powers, um, overwhelming powers. So what would you want to go for? The interesting thing might be like a, an OVA or anything about uh, uh, Bay and the incubators, but seeing how Im far away those are in the meaning of how cold and um, analytic and logical it is in my opinion, nearly impossible to make a, a movie or a series about them because we cannot completely go with their kind of thinking. It is too far away for emotional people like us. Sorry. So I think this is the end. It is the end of it. And I'm quite fine with it. It is a very cool ending. Very nice one. But you, um, we already have like a glimpse of the future because uh, Humor stated to Sayaka that in the end they will fight against each other because there will be the moment when when in the future Sayaka or Madoka will come to terms what is going on and there will be this ultimate battle in the end um, where Madoka is fighting for her freedom uh, for the fact that she wants to return to the cycle wants to do good again and Humura will not let her go at any cost um, because that is something they had already. It would be, st although in in uh, the cheesy mind of mine, it would be nice if Madoka would have an option to turn Humura back to the good sides, and uh, do everything into a perfect cheesy land again, and all is nice. Um, it would be unlogical, you know. It would be unrealistic, because Humura had this chance of kind of perfect satisfaction and um, luck and uh, good feelings by just joining Humura in the moment, uh, Madoka, in the moment when their hands touched. He was, he had the option then to say, I just let go and I will be in Elysium or whatever it is that Madoka created and will be happy. But she already made the choice to become the demon. He was already transformed before in her inner self. Um, so it would not make no sense that she's turning back. So there will be a fight in this world, somewhere in the future. 
but I don't know if it is necessary for us to see it because either the either one side wins or the other side wins. So what? It um, that's not the story anymore because that is just you know that would be just a Dragon Ball Z fight. Sorry, I like it, but it is just two high class entities charging up and uh, throwing things at each other. Don't need that. The emotional railroad uh, we had that was a nice thing. The roller coaster. That's it. The emotional roller coaster we had. The development of the characters that is what this was about and um i liked it a lot and i discussed like hell right now so that's it i guess uh we have come to an end my friends and now we will have to go for another journey um I think I uh, have a have a hunch what the next episode, uh, next series will be. You will very likely find out in the future. I hope you enjoyed this one. I thank you very very much for uh, having this roller coaster with me. A special thanks to those who comment a lot uh, without spoiling, especially, and to those who requested this series, to, to who told me watch it, you will like it, or maybe not. Um, that was a, a journey worth doing. So. Last time, Madoka Magica, my name is Relax and Panic, goodbye and out.